same violence as another kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Tonight, law enforcement authorities continue to investigate an all-out brawl in Ben Salem, Bucks County. They call themselves America's number one buffet, the Golden Corral. But Friday night, it seemed like America's number one free-for-all. Wow. Um... <laughs> Are you not surprised at who's fighting in the Golden Corral? Apparently, this all sparked over a misunderstanding. <sighs> this is what the Boondocks was talking about. <laughs> this is what the Boondocks was talking about. I mean, there are countless stories just like this, but it keeps happening. And usually... It be packed on the Sundays after church, but it went down on a Friday as opposed to going up on a Tuesday. <laughs> so we got a lot going on here, but the worst part of it all, man, it's it's just embarrassing. This is the 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 culture that we we've upholded, and it it's hugely personified in in philadelphia um we know what's going on with the murders there uh everybody is lucky that this golden corral didn't get shot up um but it's just it's just disgusting bro like why <laughs> are you fighting over some steak more than three dozen people were throwing fists and even throwing some chairs. Action News reporter Walter Perez is live outside the Golden Corral on the 1400 block of Street Road in Ben Salem. Walter, what is the latest on all of this? Wow. Well, Jim, we just did a Zoom interview with someone involved in that fight. Now, there's always two sides to a story, sometimes three. But Alexis Rios did give us really good insight into exactly what happened. Action News spoke with one of the people at the center of this melee that erupted inside the Golden Corral in Ben Salem this past Friday afternoon. Alexis Rios says it started over a misunderstanding regarding a piece of steak. Rios says the person in front of him became angry with the cook because Rios received his steak first. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Patience, bruh. Patience, brother. He gets mad at the burrito gremlin over a steak. It's not looking good. He's trying to understand what you want. He's trying to give you what you want. I had a rare steak, which is a lot faster to cook than a well-done steak. That's why I got my steak first. And, re and just understanding the way that you cook a steak. I, I don't think the Super Gremlin really is putting two and two together. It's a simple explanation why he got his steak before you. Rios thinks part of the reason things escalated so quickly is because everyone was wearing masks, and he believes the people involved had a hard time understanding what the others were saying. With COVID right now, mask and everything, nobody can hear nobody sometimes. There's a lot of commotion there. And the cook, the Why is everybody blaming the super gremlin behavior on COVID? I don't understand this. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> It's crazy. The crime's going on because of COVID. Okay. Cooks behind there are talking. Nobody can hear nobody. You have to speak up loud. Next thing you know, he says, that misunderstanding erupted into an all-out brawl. I grabbed a chair to defend myself, and then sooner or later, that was it. 
punches were getting thrown, chairs were getting thrown, you name it, you can call it cups, glasses, everything, you name it. Officials from this Golden Corral franchise release a statement regarding the melee, reading in part, we notified the local authorities and they are investigating the incident. Thankfully, no serious injuries have been reported. The safety of our guests and our co-workers is our top priority. And Rios admits he is amazed everyone walked away relatively unscathed. Nobody was underground. Nobody got hurt. I got a bruise on my nose. My brother got a black eye. Y'all are lucky that joint did not get shot up. My brother got a, a, a lifted nail, and that was it. Now, the investigation is ongoing. So far, no arrests. Any possible charges linked to this case would include simple assault and disorderly conduct. Reporting live from Ben Salem, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Jim? Thank you, Walter. Gang violence and other kind of violence.